I'll subscribe to the state. Uh, my seniors have told me, like, if you wanted to do MCA tetanic surgery, you need a guidance from Speed Up. So that's how I got the Speed subscription. And uh, I just took the notes of entire Speed. Like, just follow the Speed Up. Just follow the material, the notes, and what they just say. And it's all like your motivation. It will, we will definitely crack it. It's not a big deal at all. So I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members and Speed Medical Institute to Dr. Yamuna Ranganathan for scoring rank number 9 in MCH ENT group for superficiality of MCH adenic oncology. Congratulations to you, doctor, and, you. and wish you great. So, can we know your detailed background history, where you started till date, what you have done? Sir, I have done my UG from uh, Government Viripura Medical College and uh, post-graduation MS ENT from Command Hospital, Calcutta. And I did my fellowship for one year from uh, Tata uh, Varanasi. It was around just 14 months. It was two years fellowship, but I did for 14 months. And uh, as soon as the notification has been released for me, tests, I gave the resignation and I was preparing for the past uh, four months for the exam. Great. Now, wonderful accomplishment and uh, mm -hmm. a strong history and a background and on the move to achieve something great. Now, can we know... Why superficiality and when you got inspired, can you tell us something on the choice, why you want to do? Uh, so since my UG, I have uh, inspiration towards the surgical branch and uh, later I got like so much into the oncology. So I thought I wanted to do something in uh, surgical oncology. That's why I took MS ENT. So directly I can get into MCH adenic surgery. And uh, that's, that's, that's what my path was. So. Great. Now, once you decided to do so, and how you moved towards it, what all you did to do and to achieve what you are today of rank number nine, and what is your preparation strategy? Uh, so, during my final year of PG, I subscribed to the state. Uh, my seniors have told me, like, if you wanted to do MCA tetanic surgery, you needed a guidance from Speed Up. So, that's how I got the Speed subscription, and uh, I just took the notes of entire Speed, uh, like MCA tetanic surgery. All the Teja Sarka notes, head and neck surgery, everything, all the notes I took like during my final year. Actually, that helped me during for, like, for my PG exam also. Uh, like I gave the INISS during that time, and uh, but I couldn't clear the exam. Like during the score, I could see, I was like, uh, I just missed the mark, like around the two marks only. So I thought, uh, okay, like instead of uh, like yeah, taking a time for around four months or five months, I'll just go for the fellowship. During the fellowship, I get a time, I'll prepare side by side since I have taken all the notes already. So I thought I'll get into the fellowship. But after getting into the fellowship, I didn't have enough time. Like for the, during the one year period, I had like enough of like hands on during getting surgeries and all I, I got. But I had this feeling I'm not like, uh, uh, I didn't get MCH. So I thought I'll just take a break as soon as the this one was released, me this is notification. I took a break and I uh, again, I just sat for the speed and I did it. Great. Quite inspiring. Very powerful, positive, enthusiastic, energetic, very proud. It's all from you and it's all the <laughs> words. And last, it's really a challenging thing for me to resign actually last moment. But I thought, yes, I can do it. I had this uh, like kind of. But still, during the preparation, it was like kind of low. There was a time I used to think um, that was my bad decision. Yeah. Like, why did I even give up a fellowship that too from Tata Varanasi with enough hands on and a much good faculty and much good seniors. But still, I thought, okay, I wanted to do MCH. And uh, since like each and every year, the cutoff is uh, like keeps on increasing. So I thought I had to give a break and to do it. And with the uh, much like uh, with the speed up and it made it, uh, it is all possible. And uh, and with your motivation, I didn't give up. The number of questions you answered in the exam. So, as you said, last uh, like one day before your video, two days before your video, uh, like uh, like the night uh, before the exam, your video, it was always like aggressive. I gave 150. So, did it work? So, my my uh, suggestions for the exam one day before, did it work for you? Sir, it really is. Like, uh, well, like one week, stuck, like uh, I had some feeling like there was somebody with me. There was somebody kept on motivating. Apart from my parents and colleagues, like when I sweat for exam, when I'm focused, I need somebody. Like uh, speed up, did. it was a complete package. Both physically, uh, like a uh, subject, everything. It did that. Okay. So, 
<laughs> because you need all things to fight an exam to win an exam it is not only the subject matters yes the sir attitude yes. matters yeah that's for sure sir so that is has to be there so what will be your advice for your juniors who are preparing for this exam uh, your experiences that when you are prepared you would have felt okay this i should tell someone not to do this i should tell them to do what are those uh so actually there would be some of the residents like uh, after completing the exam they will have the time of like two or three months gap day so they can give the exam there are uh, some residents who will be working who will be a mother to the kids like it will be difficult for so many people so i want to say that like don't give up on any of the time like it is hard for any everybody it is really hard at some point of time so don't give up with the speed up it is really possible i want to say that like just follow the speed up just follow the material the notes and what teja sir says and it's all like your motivation it will we will definitely crack it it's not a big deal at all like it is a big deal but with this with this guidance it is really possible it great great for wonderful words and dr teja and the entire team will be very happy looking at the video yes. <laughs> great and i am the student of uh, during uh, my post graduation preparation i was a student of speed actually so during the for my general surgery and for my spm like for my community medicine this of uh, yeah this na so i used to open the notes of my pg spm i still remember like for every one and a half like uh, for two day session we used to have after one the next day we will have this uh, notes uh, to mark the answers on all mcqs on all we lab so i had the to those notes and all that really helped me a lot like both general surgery and community medicine to to just have to mind up all those so that really <laughs> <laughs> so which year, which year you are a PG student and preparing? Yes, sir. I am a PG student of speed ups. When 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 which year was that? Ah, uh, sir, I just joined. Well, I was doing third year. I jo joined at Arun Bakam there, like uh, just a session there. So those notes of community medicine and general surgery, I still have those uh, like uh, notes and all. We uh, we used to get from like every break on. We used to get those MCQs. Like around hundred MCQs after completing one session, we used to get the MCQs every break. So we used to mark the MCQ and answer. That's what we have been trying there at the PG. So I used to have those notes right now. So it helped me a lot when I just flip the pages. It really helped me like uh, during the exam. Like last one month, uh, it was really stressful. We were not sure uh, whether how many uh, surgical persons and all used to come. But this helped me a lot. Uh, your surgical note and the community medicine notes of speed PG. Right. <laughs> great to know and great to rejoice and also to <laughs> very proud of you very proud of you yes so you grown from mbbs days to your ent then to superficiality now an head and neck onco surgeon now five years from now i am looking at you i could visualize how it will be sir i was <laughs> say this when you are giving me interview like when i'm giving the interview i wanted to say this i just prepared from speed pg notes of this community medicine surgery i really have those uh, notes with me i mcq notes also i wanted to say this and really it, it's really a guiding factor for me yeah it's a long long journey yes sir yeah so sir so i want to thank god first and later my parents um because uh, they are the one when i said like i want to resign and want to sit for the exam they were like financially emotionally they just helped me a lot and my teachers my faculties and uh, my seniors like uh, during my fellowship my seniors they really helped me a lot during my ups and downs and uh, special thanks to teja sir speed team and you sir and uh, shiva anna also like every time whenever i ask him subscription even at the late night he used to respond me So thank you so much, the entire speaker. Great, wonderful, discussing and talking with you. Thanks for sharing your valuable experiences for students. We once again wish you all the very best and all the success for a great career ahead in MCH Head and Neck Oncology. Best wishes to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you.